Hi, I'm Chris. And I'm Cynthia. And we're the Hanyi family. So we're going to do another request for you guys today. And for those of you who are new here, welcome and let's enjoy some music together. Yes. Yes. So today I chose to do a, a request that was from Philip Green and Richard W. Hardwick. Okay. The band is extremely popular on our channel Very and popular. we love them. And Chris is wearing their shirt. So we're doing The Clash today. And the song is called I'm So Bored of the USA. Mm -hmm. We thought that was an interesting title for sure. Yeah, we thought yeah. that was very interesting. Because, I mean, we're a little bored of hearing about them right now. Right now, yeah. Yeah, we hear about them all, all the time. All the time, yes. All the but, time. But, hey, how can you not, right? Right, I mean, of course. Especially for us Canadians because we're right beside them. Yeah, so we're always you watching. Know. You kind of have to. We're always paying attention. <laughs> we always know what's going on in America. Yes. Most of us do. Trust me. But we're getting a little bored of the story too. You we know. are. We're getting <laughs> very and annoyed sometimes. Yeah. But oh, yeah. That happens. For sure. You know, they're a great country though. I mean, look, you know, you can't, you know, say enough good things about them. But there's. But there's a lot of a bad. A lot of negative. Yes. There's a lot of bad with that good. And right now they're. You know, not uh, showing us the be their best. Yeah, that's true. That's true. So, we're, you know, we're going to do this song just to... Uh, well, see what the Clash has to say. See what the Clash say. had to say back <laughs> in the day. Because this was a long time ago. This was. So, so we're going to get into it. This is The Clash with I'm So Bored with the USA. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Mm -hmm. They're literally singing about seeing those stupid stories on the TV too. Yeah. Well, not the TV for us, the computer and our phones. And, well, yeah. But but hey, that's what they're talking age. about still. Yeah. Just, Even though this was a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. I mean, oh my goodness. Well, I mean, they would have been, uh, I don't know what year this one was. Um, let me take a look quick. The fact that they're always on the TV back then you know that's all you ever hear about is all the nasty things that are going on in the usa still like even back then i guess so i mean i remember as a kid well, hearing I mean, way too much of it as this, well this is moving towards the the reagan era right so, oh i see yeah you know i don't know if it was during or just Oh, you there know, was a lot just to before, say then. but there, there was a <laughs> lot going on. I mean, especially even with the Carter years, there were yeah. strange things happening, and and of course before that there were the, the Vietnam War, and there was there's other a stuff, lot so. of mess. But you know, yeah. So I mean, and during the Reagan years, there was a lot of upheaval. So yeah, you know, greed is good and all that stuff, right? And, so. Yeah. So saying they're bored of it is kind of the same as us. They're just tired of hearing all the nasty news stories and yeah. hearing the politicians with their yeah. nonsense. But they would have equated uh, Reagan with Thatcher. and Oh, likely. And both of them were kind of doing the same thing, where yeah. they trying to turn the government around to their will. Yeah. And, you know, using, uh, you know, corporate backing to uh, to push their agenda. Yes. Right? So, 
it was always a kind of a, a problem where that you know that they would probably relate to considering what Thatcher was doing with them yeah in England right so there's a lot going on no kidding so let's, you know, let's finish this yeah That's so funny. My favorite video of theirs from when I was younger is on the screen. No, oh, Rock the Casbah. Rock the Casbah. That was, I think, honestly, that was my introduction to The Clash. Oh, well, I mean, it's a pretty good introduction. And I loved that song. I yeah. still love that song. Well, that song was very <laughs> popular. I mean, it, it's just you know, a lot going in on in that song, too. Yeah, These, when I was a kid, I didn't know that. No. I thought it was just a fun song. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, it's very political for sure. Yeah. Uh, but that's uh, the clash for you, right? I mean, they were definitely into this idea, even early on, what, 77, 78. Yeah. With the whole, you know, whatever was going on with with Britain. And, of course, I mean, that translates to Iran at this moment with Rock the Casbah and, of course, the USA itself, which was involved Yeah, with the Iran situation, right? It's funny. He said, I'm so bored of the USA, but what can I do? Well, that's how we feel, too, sometimes. What, what can we do? <laughs> what can we do? We just have to sit here and watch the mess, the yeah. drama show going on. And worry you know. and worry and worry. Well, and worry that it'll spill over into Canada, the nonsense. You know what I mean? Exactly. Yeah. That's really the, the gist of it. I mean, we you know, we, we love our neighbors, uh, but... But we don't care for the way the government there is running things, obviously. Exactly. I mean, people yeah. need to get things straight one way or another. There's good people there, just like there's good people everywhere. But, of you know... Are. All right. Everyone cares. They're in a mess over there. Everyone cares about what's going on, but they don't know how to deal with it, and they're not being told how. Right? Yeah, but this was fantastic. So I'm so glad we did this one. Mm. Thank you very much for that request. It was obviously very much appreciated. Yeah, we do love the Clash. We think they're fantastic. So yeah, and you know, the more we hear from them, especially and we're and we're not like political political we don't join any parties or no no we, but we do vote and we do pay attention <laughs> so we're we're some we're the people in the middle who are scared to death of what might happen if we don't vote yeah we vote just to hopefully keep things somewhat balanced <laughs> you yeah, know what i mean exactly we're, because we don't have any real push or anything but yeah. if you don't Put your word in, then exactly. what, what are you complaining about, right? <laughs> exactly. Let's let's be honest. I mean, if we don't have balance in, in, in our country or in our region or province or state yeah. or whatever, if we don't have a, a balance of, you know, this and that, yeah, then everything's going to fall apart. Cause yeah, you can't, exactly. You, one side just doesn't You can't go it. all the way one side and you can't go all the way the other side. It's just not going to work out. Exactly. You know. Because then you're doing extremes, and I don't do extremes. Yeah. I just can't. No. But anyways, this was a fantastic song. Please don't forget to check us out over on Patreon. It's $3 a month, and we're adding things there all the time. Mm -hmm. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. Share with your family and friends. Click that notification bell if you don't want to miss a video. And don't forget to enjoy yourself. Later. Later. Later.